Critics are calling for an audit of Franklin County Auditor Clarence Mingo's office. Last night, we revealed Mingo paid an employee thousands of dollars in a consultant contract after she claimed sexual harassment. Well, an investigative reporter Paul Aker is here with the new developments he's found. Paul? Well, just about everyone I talked to agrees this looks bad, but was it criminal or even an abuse of tax dollars? Those questions can't be answered without an outside investigation, and now one government group is calling for one. Just what went on inside the Franklin County Auditor's office? Did this woman blow the whistle on sexual harassment? And did it lead to a six-figure payoff by Auditor Clarence Mingo? Questions government watchdog Common Cause would like answered. This clearly needs to be investigated. Catherine Terser is talking about what 10 investigates reported last night. Wasn't this just a payoff to get her to put this claim to rest? Absolutely not. We revealed how Mingo's former chief of staff, Giselle Pierre-Louis, claimed Mingo was sexually harassing her and at least one other. Pierre-Louis offered to put the allegations to rest in exchange for a six-figure payout. Then, a few months later, Mingo gave her a consulting contract for $135,000. It suggests that, in fact, it, this is, a, this is a, a payoff. A payoff to put this claim to rest would look like something very different. Mingo says he gave Pierre-Louis the contract because she was the most qualified, a deal he made with the woman he claims made baseless allegations against him just a few months before. And this is the person that, that you say was the only one that could guide through these projects through. Does that really seem believable? Well, it should be because those would be the facts. Um, let, let me tell you what happened here, Paul. You had two people who worked good um, and well and effectively together for some time. You had the advent of these rumors or this letter that was resolved and they were able to resume a working relationship. That's all that's here. Terser says state investigators should find out whether that's true. And if it's not... He should clearly be out. You think so? Oh, clearly. We're talking about misuse of $135,000. Amigo told me he would welcome an outside audit. We called the state auditor's office to see if Auditor Yost would do just that. We weren't able to reach him. Paul Aker, 10 Investigates.